Okay, I print myself a lot of batteries and for this reason I also need to make a lot of housings for different types of batteries. And because of this I need to print myself a lot of custom plates like I have over here. And with all these plates I'm able to make some cells like this one for example. Here I have some flow type of cell some static type of cell and here I put several flow type of cells together and all these plates are printed with some resin uh, I choose resin because the resin is a little bit more resistant to the chemicals like some PLA or PETG and I also get a little bit more smoother surface and just for example, if I want to make some housing for one cell, then in this case, I will need two end plates and at least one rectal plate. And this will be the housing, some basic housing for making one cell. But what is also really important is that between each plate, I also need to put some gasket that I don't get any leakage of the electrolyte. So the gaskets by this construction is really important. Like I said before, that I don't get any leakage of the electrolyte. So like here you can see between each plate I put some gasket. Also over here you can see a lot of gaskets and the gaskets are normally made from silicone like this one or neoprene rubber so I print myself a lot of custom plates with the resin but now uh, I want to make some little experiment if I can print also some custom gaskets and for this reason I buy this flexible resin. So this flexible resin I already test and I print myself some custom parts like this one. So you can see that this one is flexible. Uh, this is some part for uh, for some electrolyte container which seals uh, this container and the pipes really really well uh, so I'm really impressed by this flexible resin uh, because I get some really nice sealing but now I also want to print myself this kind of gasket with this resin to see if I will get also really good seal Okay, here is my cheat box slicer and now I will slice the gasket, actually I will need two gaskets uh, with a thickness of one millimeter uh, and yeah I will print these two gaskets flat to the building plate like so. Uh, so for this flexible resin I will use uh, the exposure time 3 seconds 3.3 to 3.4 seconds uh, this will be okay and I also need to reduce uh, the bottom exposure time because all the flexible prints which I make with this flexible resin uh, sticks to the plates really 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 good for this reason I will reduce here the bottom exposure time to on top 20 seconds so I will print with this Elego Mars 2 Pro okay
Okay, I pinked myself these two gaskets and now I want to know if I will get some really good seal uh, in the cell. I mean, the cell housing because I will not make the entire cell. Uh, I will put uh, together only the housing. And here I have so right now almost the entire cell housing is 3d printed so then plates the reactor plates are 3d printed with the ABS like resin and the gaskets these two gaskets are printed with this flexible resin and now I will pump in some water and I will see if these gaskets will hold uh, the water Right now everything is fine, but now I will make a little bit of pressure. Okay, here I get some leakage, but right now I don't know if I get the leakage on this pipe or on the gaskets. Okay, so actually it looks like that the 3D printed gasket seal quite well. And now I get a little bit different idea. So when I make some housing for one cell, then in this case I need two end plates and one reactor plate and two gaskets. So everything together, the housing for one cell will be made from five parts. And now the idea is, instead of printing some gaskets, I can print myself some flexible reactor plate. So this reactor plate is the same reactor plate which I have here. And because this reactor plate is uh, flexible, for this reason I don't need the gaskets anymore. Okay. 
Oh. So because this one is really flexible, for this reason it's a little bit hard to put this pipe on this connector. Oh, yeah, and actually, I get some really nice seal. So, guys, this was some really interesting project of using some flexible resin to make some cell housing. So, everything was great, uh, but the only annoying thing. Uh, was by this flexible reactor plate is that these two parts are too flexible and for this reason I was thinking that uh, for the next time I will reduce the flexibility by combining some flexible resin with some ABS like resin for example and then I will see what I will get but for now everything was great and yeah I really like the idea that I can print almost the entire cell by myself. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.